Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a, a comparison here of technology progression. So we're going to be doing a Stormblood benchmark comparison for people who have laptops. So we're going to be showing how it looks on a Sandy Bridge based Core i7 quad core. This is a ThinkPad W520. It's a laptop from 2011. So it's got a Sandy Bridge mobile quad core i7. So that's a true quad core with hyper threading. So it's eight threads. It's running an NVIDIA Quadro. Uh, Fermi based 2000M. Uh, in the middle we have a Kepler based K1000 that's with the Haswell based so that's the fourth generation i7 so we have second generation i7 with Fermi versus uh, fourth generation Intel with Kepler Quadro and then on the far end over there we have the latest and greatest we've got the Skylake i7 so that's the sixth generation Intel Core i7 with the uh, it's got DDR4 RAM. The other two are on Windows 7 with DDR3 RAM, but that one also has the Maxwell-based Quadro. So that's the the I believe it's the M1000M or M2000M. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get all these to go at the same time. Let's see if I can click on Start on this one. This one. All right. So one, two, three. All right. So let's see who. We're off to the races. See, all all of these laptops are using, um, well, so that one's first in. This is the Maxwell base. We'll turn the volume down so it's not super loud. Same thing with this guy over here. So Kepler's number two. And Fermi struggling along here. This is number three. We're running on maximum 1080p. To prepare for Final Fantasy on mobile. So Maxwell based laptops seem like they're gonna be able to run this pretty good. That looks pretty solid performance and that is 1080p maxed out. Looking over here at my three-year-old computer this is a Kepler based with a Haswell i7. You can see this one hasn't yet broken a uh, thousand points and then moving further back we have the Sandy Bridge. This is a second generation i7 with the Fermi base Quadro. This one's actually the higher end Fermi, whereas those two, these two are on the more budget oriented Quadro. So this is like the, this is the K1000, and this is the, uh, this is the K1000M, so the Kepler 1000M, and this one is the Maxwell, this is the M1000M. And the Maxwell is just completely dominating right now over the other two. The Fermi, this is actually the Fermi 2000M. But you can see its performance isn't really all that good at 1080p maximum. You can see the settings there. That's what I have right there for the Sandy Bridge system. That's a ThinkPad W520. And then once the Kepler one loads up. But anyway, looking at the Maxwell one, oh, actually, here's the Kepler one. So you can see uh, the 4800 and the Quadro K1100M is what it is. And then here we have the Quadro M1000M with the 6820HQ. So that one's pretty solid. This one, to me, I can tell just by looking at it, the frame rate is a lot smoother than the other two. The Fermi one is pretty bad. So these two are, it's got one more scene to go. This one's on the last scene. Alright, so here we are back with the final scores. So you can see the, let's take a look at the Sandy Bridge system. So this is a laptop, keep in mind this laptop is from 2011, so it's pretty old by today's standards. But you can see it scored 1182, that's low. If we save that, we'll see the FPS. So here we can see average frame rate was 7. Um, so that's not really all that great says here capable of running the game but will experience considerable slowdown adjusting settings is unlikely to improve uh, performance so all right moving on we have the Kepler based system with the Haswell i7 the uh, key on these are all mobile chips both the discrete graphics card and the uh, CPU um, so this is what you'd expect if you had a laptop from say 2014 or maybe late 2013. Um, 
even up to I would say early 2015 even actually like the first half of 2015 um, so a laptop that's like two or more years old probably would perform like this so you can see 12 and it did a, it, surprisingly it only did a little bit better than the old Fermi and this is a Kepler based quadro card if you look at the uh, settings here or you see the result average frame rate is about 8 7.9 uh, scored in the same uh, range, low. So really, it only did almost almost one FPS better than Fermi. So that's that's pretty bad. And then we move on to the Maxwell Base system. So this one's the newest one. Let me move over uh, here. So this one scored 3,600, and that's considered high. So that's a big jump because those guys are on low. So I think it goes very low, low, fair, then high, and then very high, and then excellent. So this scored, scored high. So 3,605. If we save that, you can see uh, average frame rate was 24 FPS. So that's not really all that good. But keep in mind, this is 1080p maximum on a mobile uh mobile chip and it's Maxwell based. It's not, not the latest and greatest but it's still pretty decent. It's a laptop from 2017 um, but it was probably around like in 2016 so easily capable or maybe even a little bit further back than that but I'm not sure this is the P50 the Lenovo ThinkPad so high easily capable of running the game should perform well even at high resolutions. I don't know how well I believe that because Honestly, 24 FPS, in my opinion, is not easily capable of running the game. Although it looked really good. Uh, it probably had a lot of uh, random micro stuttering or something. But to me, it looks uh, fairly smooth. If you drop the settings down, you're probably going to average around 30 FPS. And they'll probably be fine for a laptop. So anyway, guys, I'll retest on 720p next. And then I'll, I'll take a look at the results. Alright, so here's the test running at... 720p it's almost done on all three of them so you can see the maxwell one is completely just it's definitely playable at 720p maxed out on the maxwell base quadro i'm um, keep in mind you don't have to get a quadro i mean the only reason why these are quadro is because these are thinkpad which are business class laptops so these are basically for like executives and, and engineers and stuff like that but um, yeah, you can see, like, the, the progression of technology in the mobile sector. One thing I also want to notice is how much quieter the P50 is compared to the, the two other ones. This Haswell-based one is really loud. So the fourth generation i7 with the Kepler card is really loud. This one's, this one's also kind of noisy, but the tone of the fan is not as bad as the, the middle one. The Kepler one is just terrible. And then the Maxwell one is so much more energy efficient. It's just, this is just amazing. So NVIDIA really, props to NVIDIA with the Maxwell architecture. It's really nice. Intel Skylake is also pretty good in, in mobile. It's an improvement over Haswell. But Haswell is a dramatic improvement over uh, Sandy Bridge. Although in mobile, it doesn't really seem like it. So this one's 32 nanometer. Intel Sandy Bridge. This one, oh, you can see he got standard. Never seen that before. Standard, very high on Maxwell. Standard on Kepler. And wait for it, wait for it. Standard on Fermi. But this is the higher end Fermi. This is the 2000M. So this one's actually interesting because it's high end Fermi. Barely loses to low end Kepler. Um, but both are completely destroyed by low-end Maxwell. So when I say low-end, I'm talking about like there's there's only the high, there's the big, or I guess there's the expensive Quadro, and then there's the less expensive Quadro. This is the less expensive Quadro Maxwell. Completely destroys uh, the other two. So if we look here, I right, start with the, the, the oldest one first. So we got a score of 2,240. So standard, if we save it. You can see, uh, zoom in a little bit here, you guys can see it. 14.7 is the average frame rate, so that's about 15 frames per second. Score was uh, 2,240, so that's pretty pretty awful. Uh, let's move on over here. Uh, not too much better from the less expensive Kepler Quadro. 
So 2,338 is a little bit better. 15.7 is the average versus 14.7. So it's literally one FPS average faster. So that's barely an improvement. Then if we look at Maxwell, uh, 6,746 has an enormous difference. Almost 7,000. I was expecting this guy to score over 7,000. But still, average FPS 46 on 720p maximum. Uh, again, these are mobile parts, 6,746. So you can tell NVIDIA really uh, uh, optimized Maxwell, or and everything now seems like it's it's optimized for Maxwell. Not really, unfortunately, it's like the kind of like left Kepler and especially Fermi out in the cold there. But anyway, guys, that was my uh, comparison video. I'm going to put a link to the article down below so you can read the full a website article at gtrnexus.com and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.